you work from home, we all kind of forget that time is money. You know, we don't, time kind of becomes irrelevant because you're not working by deadlines. You don't have no boss standing over you saying, hey, I need this by 10 a.m. You know, you're, you know that you don't have to stop working at five to go get in your car and go home because you're already home. You know, so while people are on their way home from work, you're still working because you're already home. You know, maybe you don't have a, an actual set time for your lunch break. It's whenever you're ready for it. You know, and that's great because we, we live a lot less, uh, we have a lot less stress in our lives because we don't have to deal with the workplace. But one thing that I've noticed, and I did this myself, and I've noticed a lot of people online do this, they'll spend way too much time on something without realizing that that's costing them money. Because you can't see it that way. You don't get paid an hourly wage. You get paid by whatever you, you know, well, for example, my, um, my lantern business. You know, I sold uh, two lanterns yesterday. I sold zero today. Well, I say today. I haven't gone to bed yet. I'll, I sold no lanterns yesterday, but I sold two lanterns the day before. Then for a week, I sold maybe two or three, but then a week ago, over the weekend, I sold 14. So it's random. There's no guarantee. You know, I don't know if I'm going to have another great weekend where I sell 14 anytime soon. So when you work from home, it's all random. You just don't know. You know, with Fiverr, I now have a, um, an ongoing order with Fiverr where I do know that I'm going to get paid 50 bucks a day for an hour and a half worth of work and I schedule it in because I've received that order every night. So the whole point I'm trying to get at here is that time is money and I guess the best way to explain this is tell you what happened in the past couple days. First, I had a Fiverr order and this was for a voiceover gig. Now Fiverr, you don't get paid a lot. It's $5, and out of that $5, it's $4 because Fiverr takes a dollar. So when you do a gig for Fiverr, you want to make sure that those dollars are worth it. And a lot of people on Fiverr make this mistake. You know, they get, get, get a $5 order, and then they'll go spend an hour working on that order, or two hours. Or maybe they get $10, and they're spending two hours on it. You know, they want to make sure it's perfect, and I absolutely do that myself. I like to be a perfectionist with, with my things. So anyways... I did the gig and it ended up taking me over an hour to do. And that was just recording the voices. Then I had to go edit it, edit everything all together in my sound, my audio program. And that was a half hour. I send the uh, file to the customer and then they write back and they want me to do it over again. Oh, it was too slow. It was this. I didn't like this. I don't want it this way. I want that. Now I got to do it over again. So I do it over again. I did it a little quicker, but still I had to go edit everything together. And now I spent probably another half hour on it. So now I spent two hours on that, on a gig that paid me 12 bucks. That means that's $6 an hour. Well, you know what? $6 an hour does not pay the bills. $6 an hour is, is a loss. They wanted me to do the order a third time. Because they were asking me things that are just not an option. Asking me things that are not available with my gig. If I had done it a third time, I might as well just give it to them for free. Because I lost. I lost. Well, I decided not to do it a third time. I told them, no. Get someone else to do it then. I gave you some good voices. Use them. I'm done. And that's what you have to learn in this business when you work from home. You're not going to be able to make everybody happy as much as you want. You know, this is not... A nine to five job where you get you are guaranteed a paycheck on Friday. When it is, then the expression "that's not my job" doesn't apply. When you are hired by a company and you can work in any aspect of that business and help out, you should, because you're getting paid by your time. But when you're working from home, you can't do that. That's a, that's going to cost you. So it's not my job to when I'm doing these voice recordings to watch a video, read a script and use the and do the, re, the recording and operate everything at the same time and edit everything together. That's not my job. That's their job. My job is to do the voiceover recording. That's all I offer. Now, if I go and spend all of this time doing all the other aspects all on a laptop, by the way, 
So I'm doing it on a laptop, trying to watch a video on my little screen and monitor the recording and read the script. It ain't going to work. And I'm going to lose. I don't have the precious time to lose. I'm working for myself. I'm working from home. Every minute matters. Every minute. And when you work for yourself, you have to keep that in mind. If you're spending all day writing one blog post, you need, you need to stop and uh, figure out what you're doing wrong and fix that because it should only take you five or ten minutes. If you're shooting these videos, you know, one thing that I do, which is a time saver for me, instead of spending every day setting up the camera, setting up the computer, I will spend one day recording a bunch of videos. And then I don't have to do a, 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 you know, a, a, a bunch of videos the next day. You know, I'll have my, my notebook here. I write down whatever I'm thinking that I want to do a video about. And then when I'm ready, I'll go and record a bunch of them. That's how I save money and time. Now I'm doing everything all at once. So when you work, work for yourself, always remember that. Remember time is money. It's really important. And, and make sure you, you, you organize everything and uh, everything is, is, uh, is um, well planned out. You know, for example, you know, in the morning, shoot a video, spend five minutes doing it. Uh, then uh, write your blog post, put your video in your blog post, spend another five minutes. Send it to your email subscribers. Maybe you spend five or ten minutes there and that's it. Don't spend all day doing that. You know, that's how you make money and that's what, what, why your time is so valuable. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please be sure to subscribe by clicking here. And hey, while you're at it, visit my site here for lots of cool content and yes, some free stuff. Hey, who doesn't love free stuff? I don't. Shut up.